In Computex 2024, I got to see two crazy unique gaming monitors, and here are two of them. The first one is an AI gaming monitor. This is the MSI MEG 321URX QD OLED, and this has a flat panel. This is an Ultra HD Quantum Knot OLED panel that even has KVM support. It goes up to 240 Hz, and you can get that on all three available ports, which is DisplayPort 2.1, HDMI 2.1, and USB-C, and at USB-C, you get up to 90 watts of power delivery, which means you can even charge your laptop while you're connecting it to your PC. But the highlight is it's AI SkySight. This is pretty much MSI's first and the world's true uh, AI gaming monitor because of AI SkySight. So they've executed this concept on a game at Monster Hunter to show you how it works. It pretty much helps you highlight things in the game world, such as red for enemies, green or yellow for pickups, and other various objects. This is a trainable model via gaming intelligence where you can choose to set data points in your game for the AI to learn and model from so that you can learn to highlight those things in the future. There's the spectrum bar at the bottom, which pretty much allows you to see using that physical bar what's happening to you in game. So such as if you're shooting a gun, in example, and you're running low on ammo, that bar would start from full and gradually go down and decrease to almost nothing and even blink to indicate to you that you should start reloading. So it's kind of like, not really essential, but I think that's pretty cool because that's something that nobody's really ever done. And it's really showing just how smart gaming monitors have become, you know, with a trainable AI model and even using lights around your monitor to tell you what's happening instead of just being you know, ambient. The second monitor is the MPG 321 CUPF, which is pretty much the world's first curved dual mode gaming monitor, which means you can use this with two different sets of resolutions and refresh rates, which means you no longer have to pick a monitor like just one gaming monitor or even buy two gaming monitors of various resolution and refresh rate capabilities and just keep just this the one. It can natively handle up to 4K, up to 160 hertz, or you can drop that to full HD and get up to 320 hertz, which means that's pretty much for the competitive players. But if you're a visual player and you just want to enjoy the game and it's a visual detail, you can just go up to 4K and still get that triple digit refresh rate, which is pretty good. So this has to be one of the most innovative sets of monitors that I got to see in Computex. AI training and dual resolution, dual refresh rate monitors, that's nuts. See you guys in part two.